Pete intending to intercept. Not quite marked there by the home side. Kako kicks it now inside 50. It's a ground ball get, if anything. Farah scores. Across the ground. There's no doubt he's going to go down the line. That's what Lawson does. Into the contest on our broadcast side. And going for the reach. An excellent grab. The away side. Taking in a bit of territory. It seems to be the home side's teammates colliding. And Cameron runs into the open goal to give Parade second. Mark taken well by Cal Sheardier, who was very prominent in St. Bede's comprehensive victory over St. Joe's a fortnight ago. Parade yet again. He's it. Got the intercepting game today. That's what matters in games such as this. Kicks it inside, 50. Again, the muck. Ferraro. Hits the nail on the head. St. Bede's open. Parade, intending to get the ball, but the ball's a bit wobbly up in the air. The five on one within that proximity in favor of the away side. It's an excellent mark from Rogan Kits and St. Beads. On the set shot. Goes for a tremendous a missed opportunity. Parade, retrieve, go down the line. No. Oh. That's a brilliant mark. Lawson is trying to look for someone down in front and he gets it. Smith. Kicks, goals, and how about Cameron? Goes for his teammate, centers it up. Not a target there, Carco. How about the footwork on that? That is an excellent fit. Arrogant just finding anyone if he can. But Parade going on the move. And what a sensational hit that is from Carco. Hit of the ground. Janeski, it's got to be a long bomb. He's got one in him. It's high. It is good looking. It probably looking for an option. Not sure how confident he would be to back himself in there, but he's going for a run. Goes for a chip option and finds his teammate. Here's Christian up his steps. Lawson squeezes it in. Beads going for a volleyball spike to one of his teammates to the broadcast side. Many hands up, no one secured the grab there. It looks to be Matthews again. He kicks it inside forward 50. A foot race that is going on. And St. Beads they seem to have got a goal out of nothing, and they have El just handball in it sideways, and they go sideways again. Bit of risk involved. So Beads have got the numbers on them. And that is an excellent finish. St. Beads are going for the kick. That's an excellent mark. Ball, despite having plenty of space to at least grab it and maybe possess it. Parade go down the other side of the ground. Some hit for Parade, getting the mark down back. Noah Scott. The way the players have been distributed, probably going along the boundary. It's a quick tackle away for St. Beads. For some actual brilliance. The Parade win the clearance. Nearly going to the hands of Janeski. Now Parade could get the early goal and they have Beads getting the clearance out, but an excellent mark taken. Carrigan gets it inside 50. Not quite marks from anyone. 
The same feed, still have a ball. Oh, that's a massive goal. Season. The same feeds. They're on the course. To keep their 100%. Season winning record intact. Perak, same beats. Another clearance. They're going to shoot. Ollie Moody. He has kicked one today. Everyone's telling him to shoot. I'm not sure if his own confidence level stay the same. Moody to what could seal the game. Moody from just beyond the arc. That, I think, is... Who knows, these two sides could meet again. Come finals time. Ball thrown straight back in. And B's going for a quick enough kick in a hurry. Now parade. Cole. Parade have got the mark and they are not wasting any time. Unfortunately, I can't. There's a minute to go. But can I get one? A bit of a consolation prize. Here's Scott goes straight down the line to the Janeski direction. Could get a kind bounce. Also, Rappeltecker Janeski. Could have been a high tackle there. And sets to be held in for a stop. And it's a goal, but time is going to beat. Christian. Ganino, and it does. St. 